Hi everyone. This is going to be uh, my first summary of an Akkadian or Sumerian literary text and I figured I'd start with a fun one. It's a little later, uh, first millennium Akkadian text, but it's one of my favorites and it's called The Poor Man of Nippur. Um, so if you, if you like comedy, this is a good one. So <clears throat> there aren't a lot of texts like this. In fact, um, this th there are really only two that I can think of. And uh, it's, you know, it's, it's meant to be funny. And so I think, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. So the story begins with a guy named Gimel Menorta. And he lives in the city of Nippur, which is a very popular, very important city. Uh, it's a religious center. And um, he's broke. I mean, really broke. Uh, text says that he has one pair of clothes and that's it. Um, and so he's kind of down to his his last dime and he decides he's going to go buy a nanny goat um, to have, I guess, one last meal. And he determines that that's, that's not a good idea because he can't afford all the, you know, the good beer to go with it. And so it would look really disgraceful. And so he decides instead he's going to go buy the nanny goat and take it to the mayor of Nippur, the city of Nippur. And he's going to present it to him as an offering or as a present and ostensibly with the idea that the mayor would then take care of him. So that's what he does. Uh, by the way, if you see me looking off to the right here is in my notes uh, on the text. I don't want to miss anything important. So he goes to see the mayor, brings his, his nanny goat there, and uh, all his interactions begin with this gatekeeper, this porter, that's outside that works for the mayor and he he goes up to him and uh, he says hey I need to see the mayor and the uh, the porter goes into the mayor and says a citizen of Nippur is waiting at your gate which is really important because you know rulers at that time were meant to take care of their people particularly the citizens and so um, that that phrase sort of sets a precedent that uh, we'll come back to later so the mayor comes out and says you know hey if a citizen needs my help you know, that's, that's what I'll do. And so Gimel the Norte comes before him and he's really happy. And he says, here, here's my goat. Um, and essentially the mayor, uh, takes the goat, kills it, gives Gimel the Norte like the bone and the gristle, you know, the, the, the worst part of it gives him this third rate beer and kicks him out, has him thrown out. And as, as he gets thrown out, Gimel the Norte says to the porter, um, this phrase for this one um, for this one injustice that you've done to me, I will requite the mayor three. So uh, that's a that sort of starts it off. Of course, the mayor hears that and he laughs. You know, whatever you can't do anything to me. So there are three different revenges that take place in this story, um, and and there uh, one is better than the next. Uh, or the next is better than the first. Anyway, they all get better. So the first one, uh, Gimel the Norte goes up to the king uh, of the land and says, hey, I, I'd like to rent a chariot, essentially, for the day. And I will pay you one mina uh, of gold, of red gold, uh, as the rent. And a mina is, you know, is like half a kilo, roughly. And uh, so the king says, yeah, sure. So they give him some nice clothes, put him up in this chariot. And Gimel the Norta, <clears throat> before he heads back to the mayor, back to Nippur, he buys a, or he gets a box and he puts two birds in it and then seals it, you know, with a, with a cylinder seal. And, um, and he, he, he rides the chariot back to the mayor. Of course, the mayor sees him, believes him to be this great nobleman and gets really excited you know, kills, uh, kills a goat, makes a big feast. How ironic. Um, and they, you know, they have this, this, uh, this banquet. Well, <clears throat> the night starts to, um, go on and the mayor gets really tired and falls asleep. Well, Gimma Nanorta opens up the box, lets the birds fly out and then rouses the, the mayor and says, Hey, uh, somebody stole my gold. You know, the gold that was in this box, somebody stole it. And he, so he beats the mayor, uh, who of course takes it because, you know, that's, he, he outranks him. And uh, at one point, <clears throat> as he's beating him, um, 
The mayor says, my lord, do not destroy a citizen of Nippur. Which again is, you know, some playing back to this, uh, take care of a citizen of Nippur when Gimel Menorta came. And anyway, it's just, a, there's a lot of interplay here um, in the text. So he beats him and he leaves. Uh, sorry, he beats him and the mayor pays him two minas of gold. Now remember, he rented the chariot for one. He didn't actually have any gold in the box. But he tells the mayor that he had two minas of gold, and so, uh, I mean, he that he had one mina of red gold in the box, and so the mayor gives him two to pay him back. So as he walks out, he says to the porter, hey, uh, that's one. <laughs> two more are coming. And um, so uh, he leaves there, and he goes up to a barber, and the barber shaves his head, and he comes back. Uh, with a with a bucket of water to the mayor and of course the mayor in the story doesn't recognize him and he says I'm a physician from the city of Isin well Isin is known for physicians Ninissana uh, the lady of Nissen is the deity there and she's a she's a healing goddess so it's known that physicians come from Isin so uh, he comes back I really like this story clearly he comes back and he says, I know that you've been beaten up. I know that you've been bruised. And in fact, I, I, I'm going to show you where your bruises are to show his great skill. He, he doesn't even have to be told where the mayor's bruises are. He knows where they are, um, which shows his great skill as a physician. So the, the mayor is, wow, this is amazing. You know, he knows where my bruises are without me showing him. And so Gimel Menorte, as the physician, says to him, uh, quote, my remedies are carried out in the dark in a private place, out of the way. He says, okay. So they go into this back room where nobody can hear him, nobody can get to him. And he takes the bucket of water that he has there, douses the fire that's back there, um, <laughs> drives uh, stakes into the ground and ties the mayor's head, his hands and his feet down so he can't move and then beats him again, head to toe. <laughs> this isn't funny. and I don't condone it. Um, as he leaves, he says to the porter, that's two, one more. <clears throat> so, um, as he leaves, he goes into the city and he finds somebody and he pays him. He pays this guy to go up to the gate of the mayor and to yell out, I'm the one, I'm the man with the nanny goat. Ostensibly, um, to, uh, to make the mayor think that, you know, that's Gimel the Norte up there yelling. But, uh, either way. Uh, the mayor sends out his attendants. Go get him! And so everybody in the everybody in the, the mayor's house or in his, uh, his you know place there uh, runs out to get this guy, leaving the mayor by himself. Uh, so Gimel the North is in hiding. Everybody leaves. The mayor comes out and he's standing by himself, watching the people chase him, and he pounces on him and beats him again for a third time. And uh, at the end, you know, he says this this statement that he's been saying over and over again. Um, for that one injustice that you served you know, upon me, I've now requited you three. And at the very end of the text says that uh, Gimel the Norte goes out into the open country and the mayor, crawling, went back into the city. So it's a real, it's a full circle story. Uh, it's really well written. There's a lot of wordplay uh, in the text in the Akkadian. And, uh, you know, if you have questions about that, you know, maybe we can talk about that in another video. But it's a really fa fascinating story. It's a lot of fun, not for the mayor, obviously. And uh, if, you, if you'd like to read the story, um, you know, I'll, I'll make that available, hopefully, in the, in the link uh, below. Thanks. Thanks.